Hello and welcome to Infinity. Shapes. Down here, here we got them under the rectangle tool. If I right click that, it's all sorts of preset shapes that you can do. You can also draw your own with the pen tool. So the most common one is the rectangle. And if I draw a rectangle, what I'm seeing here is that rectangle and it's using the fill, the stroke color, which is black, and the stroke weight, which is the line here that will automatically use that and you of course can go and change those to whatever you want. Then you get a number of other things here that you can adjust. So the corners for example I can make those rounded or other shapes and the corner there says 25%. See a little red thing there? I can actually drag this in and out as well but I can also change the corner here Um, with that one. If I click on absolute sizes, it gives me it in pixels. If I click on single radius, well, it's, it, it's, they're all the same radius, but if I click on that, I can actually change each of them separately. So that's the top right. I can make that a concave one. So that lets me edit that. Go back to single radius. Other things you can get here, show rotation center, this is the little thing in the middle, so if I rotate it, oops, and I can go to the move tool if I like to rotate this, there we go, but I'm showing here the middle, and you get the same things up here, so that's where the, that, so if I click on that, the, that little center point to be as useful for positioning. This hide selection when dragging, if I drag this, see the way that the, the blue dots around it disappear until I let go then they come back again which is useful in a complex diagram. If I draw just another one let's go down to the move tool here we go. Now I can shift click on that and I've got two of these selected together. If I change this I can see the way those move together like that. However if I go transform objects separately now they're still both selected, but they change in a different way, which can be handy. And if I cycle selection box, I click on that, see it squares up, and they went back to the corner. So if I'd turned that, so I rotate that there, watch the way I do the cycle selection box. Bing, see that it goes to the, it squares it up for you. You can also if I click on something here, one shape, I can convert to curves. And I click on that, and this is now a curve. See, normally you, it tells you here what it is. That's a, that rectangle is this one, but this is a curve here. When it's curves, I can go to the node tool, and then the nodes I can play around with just like I drew it with a pen. So there you go. There's all sorts of things that you can do with this. There's lots of other shapes that you can do, and Let's just use a couple here. Let's go to a picture here. We'll do something. Right click on this and say let's do a call out here. And let's do that and drag that one up here. Go back to the node tool because when I've got the node tool I can change these little points here. Notice that one by the way it just moves the one. If I hold the control key you see it moves, so, so sometimes the control key moves things in pairs. And then I could put text and go hello, make that a bit bigger, and move that in there. So typically, when these, you've got these things, you might well group them together. So shift click that, control G, there you go, you've got that. That's one there. Then I'll go right click here and do another call out and I can do something in here go away Bing. there we go and I can drag the corner of that and make that bigger because text is a bit like shapes as well and where you get things so there we go that's the sort of thing you can do shapes useful for all sorts of things and then we can do more videos of using for things like selections and masks and, and all sorts of other interesting things worth figuring shapes out 
Anyway, there we go, and thank you very much for watching.